Hey there, and welcome to Doll Motion, the channel where we make new characters out of old homewanted dolls. In this video, we're going to make Clefairy, and yes, she'll be in the same style as Pikachu, which means a lot of body mods. Clefairy is a Gen 1 Pokemon, and as the name says, it's based on a fairy. Our Clefairy will also be inspired by the Blue Fairy, or Fairy Godmother, giving her some hints of blue. So let's begin and make Clefairy. If you saw the Clefairy figurine in my previous repaint video, then you found the hint. Good luck finding the hint for the next repaint video. Filling a mug with hot water, we dunk the doll in it. This will make the head of the doll soft and easy to remove from the neck pack. Because we really need that neck pack to be in good shape. I do love that platinum blonde hair, but it has to go. To remove the remaining hairs, we go through the neck opening with tweezers. And of course, I need to increase my collection. With pure acetone, we take off the factory painted face. Here we go, all prepped. Um, the Ever After High doll came with black hands. Well, lucky me, I have a spare hand box. So let's look for some pink replacement hands. And in the process, I also got her some smaller feet. As you can see, we have a lot of cutting to do. Because I want this character to be smaller and curvy. We are going to shorten the arms and legs to make the proportions a bit more realistic. Great, we got our IKEA set. Let's glue everything together. What can go wrong? Well, I used a new brand of super glue. This brand was way more liquid than I was used to, which glued all the joints shut. So, I had to start over with a new doll. This time I used a Farrah Good Fairy. Well, seeing we're going to base our Clefairy on the Blue Fairy, this actually kind of fits. And she also comes with a wand. But it was definitely painful to ruin a perfectly fine Ever After High doll. Oh well, things happen when you craft. Let's continue with the head. We are first going to make the cute Clefairy ears. When the ears are dry, we take them off. Now we're going to separate the skull, make a hole for the mouth,
before we continue, we place the head back on the body. The ears can glued back to the skull piece with super glue. To close the mouth off the neck back area, we're going to use a small piece of black cardboard. Now we can give her some curves. Note, do this in a ventilated area. Now we're going to trim everything with a blade. Returning to epoxy sculpt, we're going to give her body a few layers. And we also touched up the areas around the eyes and lips. And here comes the part I think my neighbors don't really like. Me sending a doll for many hours straight. We also made a few holes for the tail and wings. For the areas we can't reach with a Dremel, we use a sanding block. This doll has now a unique body. And to make custom clothes for her, we're going to use the plastic wrapping technique. We draw on the pattern and cut off the doll. Now we can trace it on paper. Leaving this aside for later, we're going to color the doll. Not forgetting the ears. And hey, she also needs a tail and wings. We're going to make them out of wire and air drying foam. We also paint them pink to match the body. Picking out the best yarn color to match the Clefairy, we comb out streaks of yarn and cut them in teeny tiny pieces to make homemade flock. Let's begin by flocking the tail and wings. And the ears. Great! Now we need to make our Clefairy a pair of eyes. For this we use epoxy sculpt again. We take a small blob and push it on the inside against the eye. Now we have the perfect shape. Let's make them black to match the Pokemon. And add some glitter. 
Great, let's jump right into the face-up. Um, well, let's check the eyes again. Yeah, I was afraid of that. You can see a huge gap between the eyes and the eye sockets. I guess I did something wrong. Oh well, new plan. We could to scrap the first eyes and make permanent ones. Kinda makes it a semi inside eye. Well, I think it kinda works. Waiting a day for the epoxy sculpt to get dry, we can continue with the face up. Let's answer a question of the day. How long did it take you to build up your collection of repainting supplies? Um, to be honest, not that long, because I already had a lot of supplies from my stop motion puppet making days. But the things I had to buy, especially for this hobby, Mr. Superclear and pastel powders. And of course, a collection of second hand dolls. <laughs> Okay, now the face-up is complete. She kinda looks like that creepy scientist from Bugs Bunny. Oh well, let's give her some fluff. Using fabric glue, we start with the arms and legs. And ooh, we still need to glue back the skull. Here we go! Now we can continue with the rest of the body. And here we go, a full flocked Clefairy. Letting her dry a little bit more, we're going to make her fairy dress. Some years ago, I bought a bag with doll clothes. It had a few vintage Barbie clothes I heavily had to repair, but the bag also contained average common doll clothes, like this beat up princess dress. I'm not sure, but I think it was a Disney Cinderella dress. It's definitely not vintage, so we're going to use it to make a new dress. Using the pattern we made earlier. Here we go! I also made her this petticoat from some stretchy lace. Ooh, we can also add some nail art decorations. Yeah, that looks fancy. And now for Clefairy's hair. This will take some preparations and materials. Like combed out yarn webs, a metal chopstick, and hairspray. We begin by taking a yarn weft and roll it around the chopstick. Spray it with hairspray and slide it off the chopstick. Do this until you have a handful of pink little blobs. To make it easier and prettier to glue them on the doll, I cut them in half. To glue the curls to the doll, we first start with a mega curl to mimic Clefairy's signature look. This will be the base for a hairstyle. And now we can add the tiny curls to complete the cotton candy hairdo. To give the doll a bit more depth, we're going to give the doll some pastel blushing. And looking at the Clefairy, our doll was still missing the little blushes on her cheek. With super glue, we glue on the wings and tail.
with tacky glue, we glue on a set of fake eyelashes. Sparkling glue glitter in our eyes. And we gloss everything up with a few layers of high gloss varnish. The last finishing touch the doll is getting is a star and sparkles in our hair and on our wand. And with this, the doll is done! Wow, it was so much fun to make Clefairy! She was originally planned as a series with Pikachu and two other Pokemon about 4 years ago. But I'm so happy I was still able to realize her after all those years. And if you can't wait to watch more Early Access Repaint videos, I have a lot of them available on Patreon and YouTube memberships. I just added a new one, where you can follow the making of of the characters, baby Rubus Vilis, Benedictus Castor, the beaver prince, and Vita Vilis, Mortis Vilis's wife. Also, I added new patterns to my self-made doll pattern library, like the famous bunny bag. You can test if Patreon suits you by becoming a free member. With a free membership, you get access to all the channel updates. And you can download a free pattern for your crafting projects. And you can decide to upgrade your membership at any time. Follow the link at the end of this video or the link in the description box. Before I go, I would like to thank my lovely patrons of honor. Kenamaru, Bunny Queen and everyone else on Patreon and YouTube memberships. These people really make this channel and the Diva series possible again. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next repaint video. Bye.